Hey guys, this is BaileyWiki. I'm going to show you how to use the Galleon map from my BaileyWiki maps pack. First, you have to make sure you install it from Foundry. And then once it's installed, you have to come in here to manage modules and find it on your list and toggle it on. And if we save that, then that should uh, give us what we need. Now, we're not going to see any maps yet. You have to actually go into your compendiums and this module creates a couple of compendiums. For example, it creates this journal entry compendium, which has instructions on how to use some of these maps, like for the Galleon, for example. And we're going to talk through uh, some of the modules that I've used for this particular map. And I link to them in here so they're easy to find. They are optional. You should be able to run all of your maps without them. Although some of them, like multi-level tokens, will be significantly easier for your users to get around if you've got it installed. I also describe other upgrades available to this map, spe specifically for Patreons and other things that are probably notable about it. We'll minimize this for now. And then the thing we really want to get to is down here. This is where the maps themselves are. It's under your scenes. It's your compendium for scenes. And in this case, here's all of the maps available. I'm going to right-click it. Click import, and we are not going to change any settings just yet, but because I made it a single map, it makes it really easy to come back in here later and change your weather or your lighting, things like that. And I'll show you an example in a second. So if we now go and activate our map, this is our starting map. This is the main deck of the ship. But if we zoom out, we'll see the rest of the decks that are available to us. So while this is the main deck, uh, under these two decks here are the main deck rooms, the map room and the mess hall. There's a staircase leading down. There's a couple of trap doors leading down. Um, inside this topmost deck is the captain's quarters. Um, if we follow this staircase or these trapdoors down, we end up in the gun deck where the trapdoors leading up and down and ladders. We have a hold with a big gaping hole, which we'll talk about. And then we have staircase going back up to the mess hall and another ladder going down. Down on the hold, we have a, uh, a brig for you to keep your prisoners. We have a bunch of sleeping quarters. And then we have a couple of uh, a couple of staircases going down into the bilge, which is really open for your imagination at this point. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see on future Patreons some um, differences and some changes to that. Um, so one thing before I move on, I just want to show you how to fix images. If you ever open this, some users get broken images. Don't know why that happens, but these are essentially just PNGs that are sitting on top of each other. And let's say one of these is broken, well, you might have to move a PNG out of the way to get to it. And then you can double click on it. And you can see here, it will take you into wherever it thinks the file directory is. I just wanted to back up and show you though, if you ever need to get into all of the files, which you'll find some really good stuff in there that's not necessarily on maps, go into modules, BaileyWiki maps, and there's various sounds and things. And if you go into maps, you can see here's everything for the Galleon. And you can use these to assemble the Galleon in other maps. Or here's a placeable version that you can just drop in anywhere and have your Galleon parked at a dock somewhere. Um, there's also some other versions like the Ghost Ship. And then this composite is used just to generate this, uh, this image here for the map itself. If there's other stuff in here. I recommend you come in and try to check it out and see what kind of goodies are hidden inside there. Now, let's uh, talk about the modules in place. You can tell that with the water flowing that we have parallaxia in place, um, it, it makes it feel like the ship is moving. If you don't want that, I had somebody in Discord say they were getting seasick. I actually, on the, the homepage for this map pack, under the Galleon, you will find a couple of modules, um, or you, a couple of macros that can be useful for actually stopping parallaxia. I have them both here. So notice I can just click it and all of my water stops. Um, you just create the mod or you create the macro. I called it parallaxia off. You call it, give it, make it a script mo uh, macro. And then you just cut and paste the macro code that I, that I posted for you. So that's uh, parallaxia off and then on again. 
I'll turn it off for this video. That's Parallaxia. Um, the FX Master is also installed. So this lets you add various cloud and weather effects. You can see I've got cloud effects here. I'm going to increase the density of those effects. And you'll see that here in a second. Um, I've got it kind of flowing in the general direction of as the boat is going. Uh, let's see, I've also got um, multi-level token module installed. So if you go to your drawing tools and you click out here in the water, you'll notice that there is a region called uh, Galleon Flat in the water. And this means that from this region, if I drop a token, a test actor, he will propagate in the other regions. And why this is helpful is if, let's say there's a large squid monster and you're fighting him and you've got half of your group down here shooting cannons at him and the other half on the deck, you can see the same monster and you can target that NPC from any of the decks that you have a visual line of sight to him. There are other regions like that. Uh, for example, this entire deck broadcasts onto the other deck. So if I drag a token onto this deck, I will see that token propagate up here. And likewise, these decks and other places, you can see those tokens propagate. I also use multi-level token here when we get into moving between maps. So this one does not project. It actually moves your... It, it teleports your player to other places. So this one will teleport your player to this doorway here in the map room. And to your player, it will feel like they're just moving around the boat, but to you, you know that they're moving around to different places. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I just want to mention also there is dancing lights here. If I drop the lighting to darkness, and you'll notice the dancing lights here, um, I think I'll show you one more thing. You'll notice there's also sound. There's ambient sailing noise on all of these maps. It's the loudest here on the deck. And you can adjust this in your own map up and down as you see fit or get rid of it altogether. But as they go down, as you go down into other decks, for example, down here in the hold, it's quite a bit softer in noise. And that's the idea is that as you get outside, it's loud. And as you go into the ship further, it's softer. Again, you can adjust this how you want. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like from a player's perspective. You can see we've got a really nice ambiance here. I'm going to drop somebody else onto this deck. And you can see the dancing lights are flickering. And I can walk around this deck and do various adventures up here. Um, I will just point out that there is also a hidden teleport that gets you up to the crow's nest and back down again. But if I wanted to go into the map room, I can step into that teleporter and now I'm in the map room. And you'll notice I see my friend who's still in the fight out here on the deck. Um, and likewise, if I went to the window, uh, let's see if I can see my enemy out there. Well, he's out there, but I don't have line of sight to him. And here I can go further down to the deck um, my sounds are now much quieter. I can see my enemy out there in the water from up here. And what I wanted to show you is with the hold here, I have another couple of uh, zones here for multi-level token. This one projects users from down below up, up to the, the players up here. And then it's got a couple of teleport tokens because I actually wanted to be able to have a, a player jump down into the hole. So let me go ahead and put another actor on this level, and let's jump down into the hold. And you'll notice now I'm running around on top of the boxes. Now that I'm off the boxes, I can no longer see over them. And if I was going to leave my player here and go up to, uh, back up to the other level, let's say back up to, uh, up to this level, and let's say I'm this player, well, now I can see my enemy or my friend down here below, and I can continue to fight up here. I can even target them down there using the multi-level token uh, targeting. Now, if I jump down there and join them, you can see I can explore the rest of the level. Uh, I can go down even further. 
Oops, sorry, that was uh, going up. It can go down further here. And now I'm in the bilge. And again, once you import the map, you can do a lot of things with it. There's a brig over in this area. Uh, but that's that's the big stuff. Those are the things I wanted you to see that I thought were really unique. And hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with this map. It takes a really long time to make these maps, and I hope you enjoy them. There are a bunch of upgrades and alternatives to this map. Like there's a ghost ship version where you can get, let your party go in and essentially take, you know, clear out this, this ship and then maybe claim it for their own. There are droppable versions. There will be upgrades to this map in the future. Um, I'll be having a, an upgrade to this, which makes it a, uh, an airship, for example. And these are all things that you'll be notified on on my Patreon. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, this is uh, something I think a lot of people have really enjoyed and hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with it. Enjoy.